Denise Applegate Showbird. I love to upcycle, so I'm going to show you how to tie one on with your sewing machine. You need a necktie to do that. I have a choco liner, a button, or pretty brooch would work, a tape measure, and a small square of Velcro, both pieces, along with a few pins. So the necktie, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mark the necktie. Now, did you notice? I'm wearing a beautiful necktie that became a scarf. So that's what we're gonna make. Now watch, I just unvelcro it and it comes off. And this is what I'm gonna show you how to make. Well, we need to measure all of these little tucks. All we're gonna do is put some tucks in it and it will be quite beautiful. So measure down your necktie about four inches is where your first tuck will begin. So I'm gonna take the necktie, the blue one is the one we're going to use. These little varmints, they're New England or New Zealand varmints because I had to look at the tie to figure out is it a rodent, but it's from New Zealand. Chalk a liner about four inches. That's going to be the first tuck and you're gonna turn and tuck your tie like this. I'm using a blue thread so you can see it, but normally I would use maybe a dark, dark blue, but it's a lighter blue thread. I just want you to see that color when I stitch. My next tuck is going to be about two inches from that one. So I can take that same choco liner and mark it. Now, if you need to pin, you can pin, but don't stitch over those pins with your sewing machine. We'll tuck to the next one and we're going to stitch. I'm using a straight stitch, center needle position, and stitching right over these. Another two inch tuck. I usually eyeball this once I get started. I don't measure a lot, time saving. As you get smaller, your little tucks will get smaller. And that's probably about the end of our tuck. So I'm going to stop, lock my thread, cut my thread, and take it out of the machine. Well, look at, you'd press that really nicely. This piece will come around and hook on you underneath here. So your button is going to be attached here. But before you attach the button, we're going to flip this over, take our two pieces of Velcro. One piece will go on the wrong side of this, here. And again, the blue thread is in the top and in the bobbin, so you can see it. I sew this in a square. Pivot. Go backwards. Lock it. Go down the last side. Lock it. Now, because I have a sewing machine, I'm going to sew the button on with the sewing machine. Or you could put your brooch there, but the button's going to go right here. It will cover up that little square of Velcro. On the opposite end, on your shorter end, you're gonna take this and put it around your neck. So watch, I'm gonna put it around my neck and I need to figure out about how long of a tail I would like. And do you see how nice that's gonna work? Oops, there goes my button, but that's okay, I can pick it up. Put your Velcro on the other side of this. Goes on the right side of the tie for this piece, on the wrong side of the tie for the larger section. I'm gonna touch buttonhole and button on my screen. Take my foot off, place the button over the Velcro, slide it under the foot. Now, I'm gonna use the hand wheel to turn to make sure that that needle is gonna land exactly where I need it to. So I do one full rotation of the hand wheel and it's where it needs to be. 
and I can stitch that down with the sewing machine. I locked it. Now I'm going to pick it up and move to the next set of holes. Do the same exact process. Verify that you're going into the holes and most all buttons, the whole distance is the same distance apart. For American buttons, European buttons may differ, but know that that distance is the same. Now you can adjust that with your zigzag stitch width on your machine. In just that quick of time, we have ourselves one of our tie one on, upcycle necktie scarves. Enjoy this great project. I know I will. I make a lot of them as gifts and I enjoy giving them as much as people enjoy wearing them. So I'm gonna put this one on. It's time to go to dinner. I think I'll go have a little Thai food for dinner. Happy sewing.